example of what are the types of transgressive of system track since system track represents a particular stage of c level cycle within a sequence thus within a single and a sequence represent deposition that has occurred within a single c level cycle so within a single c level cycle three main system tracks develop frequently which represent are characterized different stages of c level cycle an idealized type 1 sequence consists of three system tracks that is low stand system track transgressive system track and high stand system track each of these Uh, each of these system track represent particular stage of c level cycle how do we recognize and classify system track they are defined and recognized by nature of their boundaries by boundaries we mean their sequence stratigraphic surfaces and by, by their internal geometry they are recognized by the inclusion or the cow or the sequence stratigraphic surfaces that cover the system track and second recognizing criteria is their internal geometry since a system track that will develop in in regressive stage of c level cycle will have different internal geometry it will have different stratal patra pattern then the system track will develop in the transgressive or c level rise stage of c level cycle that's why they are recognized on the basis of sequence stratigraphic surfaces which act as of boundaries for the system track and second criteria for their recognition recognition is their internal geometry their stratal pattern the seismic expression of a system track is a unit of conformable reflection bounded above and below by surfaces of reflection termination in seismic section a system track is identified by the by by a unit of conformable reflections which are bounded at the top as well as at the base by surfaces of reflection termination you can observe here this is idealized type one sequence and these are the various system tracks system tracks are separated by these dark lines from one another how does various system tracks develop within the within a single sequence since we discussed that c level cycle a sequence represents one complete c level cycle of deposition so and we discussed that sequence is composed of low three system tracks one is low system, low stand system track that is followed by the transgressive system track and then high stand system track now how does this system track develops and how does they represent a particular stage of c level cycle remember we start from the from this portion or from this point of c level cycle at this point c level fall starts this is start of c level fall and start of c level fall a start of regression is represented by the sequence boundary or unconformity during c level fall usually unconformity are sequence boundary forms so the first in which will be formed during the due, due, due to sea level fall will be the sequence boundary and along with the deposition or the development of sequence boundary the system track which will be developed are we can say that the part of the sequence which will be developed during sea level fall and subsequent slow sea level rise will be called as low stand system track and after slow sea level rise there will be start of rapid sea level rise or we can say that there will be start of transgression and the start of transgression is represented by sequence stratigraphic surface which is termed as transgressive surface or first major marine flooding surface 
so after low strength system track there will be development of transgressive surface as the start of transgression has occurred so the system track which will which will be developed during the transgression transgressive stage of sea level cycle will be called as transgressive system track the part of or the system track of a sequence which will develop during the transgressive stage of sea level cycle will be termed as transgressive system track and the end of transgression is represented by a surface which is called as maximum flooding surface maximum flooding surface is a sequence stratigraphic surface which represents or which indicates end of transgression so transgressive system track will be bounded at at the top at its top by maximum flooding surface we may say that a system track which is bounded below by transgressive surface and above by maximum fl marine flooding surface or maximum flooding surface will be called as transgressive system track after maximum transgression there is slow sea level rise and after slow sea level rise there is stand still means that there there is neither rise neither fall and after slow after stand still slow sea level fall starts and as the fall starts then there is formation of sequence boundary so in this stage the system track which will be, which will be developed in this in this stage or during this stage will be termed as high stand system track like this so we may define high stand and high stand system track as a system track which is bounded below by maximum flooding surface and above by sequence boundary so if you observe this this succession it is bounded below by the sequence boundary as well as it is bounded above by sequence boundary and we have defined that any succession of strata conformable succession of strata that is bounded at its top as well as at its base by sequence boundary is termed as a sequence and we have discussed in earlier that a sequence is then divided into the system tracks here you can observe and this division is based on the sequence stratigraphic surfaces in this way various system tracks develops and these system tracks develop uh, these system tracks which have developed represent various stages of sea level cycle we will discuss each of these system tracks separately in other classes here you can observe this is an idealized type one sequence it has sequence boundary at its base this is sequence boundary and after sequence boundary development type one sequence boundary development of type one sequence there is formation of low stand system track these are blur here but this is low stand system track as represented by it and low system track low stand system track is then as indicated by this dashed line is then bounded above by the transgressive surface means start of transgression has occurred and after transgressive surface the system track which will be developed in during the transgression will be termed as transgressive system track and this transgressive system track is bounded as represented in this dark line now i am highlighting it with the maroon color this surface is called as maximum flooding surface or mfs so transgressive system track is a system track 
bounded below by the this dashed line represent transgressive surface and above by the maximum flood surface such system track is then termed as transgressive system track after transgressive system track or after the maximum marine flooding surface there will be deposition of high stand system track and at the top of high stand uh, system track or the end of high stand system track will be characterized by the sequence boundary this will be type 1 sequence boundary if sea level fall has occurred below the offlay break point and it will be type 2 sequence boundary if the sea level fall doesn't if sea level fall doesn't occur below the offlay break point here in this diagram you can observe this is low stand system track which develops during sea level fall and it develops towards the basin it is followed by the transgressive system track which develops due, during the sea level rise a transgression transgressive stage of sea level cycle it develops due to transgression species shift towards the building of fishes shift towards the land so it is restricted to the shelf region it is then followed by the high stand system track which develops after the transgressive system track in the stay in the sea level cycle this was all about the today's lecture